To the severe weather impacting tens of millions across our country. The Northeast is still being slammed by heavy rain and damaging storms and people in Vermont now picking up the pieces after his after historic flooding hit parts of their state. Members of Virginia Task Force 2 are there today to help with flooding response efforts. ABC's Rena Roy has the story. Historic flooding hitting parts of Vermont. Some areas getting more than nine inches of rain in just a day, turning small creeks into raging rivers. The Winooski River in the state's capital rising to its highest level since 1927. President Biden approving an emergency declaration. Andrew Mullen watched on surveillance cameras as his restaurant became inundated with water. There's about seven feet of water inside Sam's. To the point that you can't even, you can barely see the ice machine flipped over just from the power of the water coming through. We kept hearing that the flooding was going to start and we just got in the car. Paula Schwartz and her family evacuated before the water rose in Ludlow. Her neighbor forced to kayak to her home to check on it. My next door neighbor, they're in the house and they can't get out. In Rockland County, New York, north of New York City, the severe rains and flooding causing widespread debris. We've still got the debris all up against this house uh, from that brook that turned into the giant rapid filled river during the event. Meanwhile, 64 million people in seven states from Florida to California on alert for extreme heat. Phoenix hitting 110 degrees for 11 days straight, a record. Severe weather is also forecast to hit the plains and the Midwest over the next two days with damaging winds and hail expected. That same system will then move here to the Northeast, which could impact some of the already hard hit areas. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.